Now, it's time for us to go somewhere on the journey, y'all. Wait a minute. Doom, doom, doom. Won't you take me to doom, doom, doom. Crazy Town? Doom, doom. Won't you take me to doom, doom, doom. Crazy Town? This video is brought to you by Extreme Tees. If you like what you see, click on the link below this video and put Kevin in the promo code and you'll get yourself a 20% discount. Concerned about the future? Well, join the club. Global problems are having local consequences. It's too many of them. Take food shortage, for instance. Supply chains can break down at any moment as we all learn the hard way. And that means now is the time to get yourself some emergency food from our friends at My Patriot Supply. They're America's largest preparedness company with millions of happy, well-prepared customers. And their food lasts for up to 25 years in storage. Look at it like this. It's an insurance policy that you can eat. When you need it, it'll be there. Act now and you'll save $50 on a handy emergency four-week food kit. This kit provides breakfast, lunch, dinner, drinks, and snacks totaling over 2,000 calories a day. Every single person in your family should have one of these. Go to my special website, preparewithkevinscorners.com, and save $50 on each four-week food kit you purchase today. That is preparewithkevinscorner.com. Those who know what's coming, use today to prepare. So, preparewithkevinscorner.com. Now, let's get to this video. That's where we going, y'all. Democrats, man, liberals have lost it, though. Full-blown lost it. Now, here's the lady giving a speech about something dealing with the uh, um, eating animals. Yeah, eating the animals. So let's find out what the new offense is. Okay, here we go. The assumption that the best protein comes from corpses is a racist belief. What? How right off grip. Right off grip. Didn't even let me sit down in my seat to eat the popcorn. Just come into the movie. I'm like, oh, excuse me, excuse me, still going past the, excuse, excuse me. And I'm like, what is this crap? What just happened, sir? Could you get out of my way? No. I got distracted by what this lady just said in the opening credits. She just said, eating corpses. Now, here's the crazy part about that, y'all. The term that this woman is using, first thing I thought about was humans. We don't identify animals as corpses. This woman are eating corpses is the best way for protein. Are you kidding me? First things first, let me go ahead and debunk that stupidity right off grip. Corpses, as she calls them, or should I say animals? Yes, they provide a whole heap of protein. If you don't believe me, ask those lions. Ask them. Those lions live 100% off of all that protein. Try giving a lion a head of lettuce, cabbage. Wait, don't eat me. Here's some cabbage and some broccoli. Could you get this lion some... um? Some carrots, and then as your hand gets taken off while you're pointing. So this woman opens up, caught my attention immediately. Like, what did I just walk into? How do you know the animal would have picked you to feed off their corpse? Oh, my God. The assumption that the best protein comes from corpses is a racist belief. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is a grown woman. She's like a professor somewhere. How did you get there? How did they give you a platform? Where are you? Why are you standing amongst these unbelievable? I would think uh, it would be like uh, the book report that my that uh, I, my book reporter is on animals. I like animals, and I'd be thinking that sometime maybe what we him him and them they wouldn't. I wouldn't like to be eating and stuff like animals. So I was thinking that's what that sounds like when you bring something up like this, and then got the nerve to bring up racism in the same. She's a grown woman, apparently educated. How do you know the animal would have picked you to feed off their corpse? 21st century animal eating requires our complicity in a new colonialism. Pulling out all the stupidity. Didn't I tell y'all? Crazy town, y'all. This is a bumpy ride. Right about now, I'm like, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I didn't know it was going to be this scary, y'all. I want off. So here's this lady talking about animals picking you. Do they get that choice in the wild? I don't understand. Now, wait a minute. Now, I know you got plans on eating me. I'm a rabbit, okay? All right, but I got rights too. Now, listen, Mr. Wolf, can we talk about this? I'd rather the cow Odie eat me versus you. Unbelievable. The stuff that people commit their time and energy to. What does she think is going to come out of this? Does this woman think that there's a large amount of humans on this globe that's going to say, did you see that speech? That was moving. No more meat for me. Man, I would have been in this seminar with the biggest turkey leg like a Viking. I would have one of those oversized turkey legs with a mug with a big handle on it. Like, arr, 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 arr. All of that. Driving her nuts. Arr, 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 arr. Me, maybe. Up there talking about some, uh, this is colonialism. 
I have a thought. Let's try to get through this craziness. Here we go. These events especially affect girls and young women. Your hand. So we, we came up with racism, colonialism, and it affects rural and women, I think. Women? Okay, here we go. Kirk comes with a dose of misogyny. And misogyny. Misogyny. Okay. Popular culture is flooded with references to sexy cows, sexy pigs, sexy chickens, sexy fishes who all just want to have fun. Doom, doom, won't you take me to doom, doom, doom. crazy town? That woman lives there. She's the mayor of crazy town. That woman right there is like, hey, uh, welcome to crazy town. Come on in. Uh, do you got your crazy passport? Uh, you're just here visiting. So now meets misogynistic. And she's talking about sexy pigs, sexy chickens, sexy something fish and stuff. Are y'all familiar with these things? I, I don't recall ever referring to a pig as sexy, fish as sexy. This right here is stuff that liberals commit energy and time to. This, this woman has sat around somewhere thinking of this. You know what a problem is in, a, in this world? It's eating meat. And you know, here's all the reasons why. It's misogynistic. It's racist. It's colonialism. How do you even say this amongst adults and then back it up with a rational thought? She's not even going to try to do that. She's just going to throw out all the things that she feels eating meat is. Put no way to tell you. No real string of like logical, rational thought where she can say, this is why I say it's this. It's just, it's, it's racist. It's misogynistic. It's colonialism. Just throwing it all out there. And there's more, if you can believe that. Meat eating is also one of the ways gender-based structures of oppression are perpetuated. Oh Masculinity my God. Const She's no longer the mayor of Crazy Town. She's the governor. The governor of Crazy Town. No, she's the founder. The founder of Crazy Town. Established whenever this thing right here took place. Let's continue hearing about this craziness because it's uh, misogyny and it's sexism and everything else system. Here we go. Construct of the gender binary facing constant destabilization feels always under threat and eating animals is its protection racket. Always dipping into things. You, you run out of issues, see? That's the problem. You're going down the list of things to be mad about. All right, somebody done pick racism already. Uh, shoot. Um, anybody got um, a global warming? Yes. Oh, crap. Okay. Uh, what about uh, transgenderism? No. Uh, okay. I can't get that. Uh, how about uh, eating animals is racist? Oh, that one's open. That one's open. Okay. I'll take the eating animals racist. And You're sitting somewhere at the crib putting all this together in your head. She can't be married. Do you understand how quick if I was married, I'd leave my wife. She woke up in the middle of the night. Huh? Wake up. I got an epiphany. Well, what, what, what's wrong? Eating animals are racist, sexist, and misogynist. Really? Where are you going? The bathroom. And then back to my mom's house. I'm out of here. You're crazy, man. You done lost your mind? Unbelievable. And imagine the judgment come every single time you're out with this human. I'm sure she doesn't get invited back to the family uh, gatherings in Christmas as they're all about to cut that turkey. What are you doing, you bigot? Well, we was going to cut the turkey. No. That right there is misogynistic and it's racist. Let's bring in a tofu turkey. Unbelievable. White supremacist weapon, weaponized it. Eating meat, eggs, and dairy. And the baiting of liberal men as so-called soy boys. <laughs> soy boys is funny every time I hear it. But nonetheless, this is what I call the shotgun technique. I'm going to compile every ism that I can and associate it with my cause, even if it has nothing to do with my cause. This is the dragnet effect. Let me see just how many identity politics topics I can put into one speech. It's like a guy who goes overboard trying to impress a woman. First five minutes, hey, listen, uh, I graduated from Harvard University. I own like six or seven cars. You know, I make $300,000 a year. I'm very smart and intelligent. I'm way up on the IQ scale. And everybody pretty much likes me. And you know what, girls, they, they're trying to holler at me all the time. And uh, you probably want to make a good choice early on, or else you might just miss out. You might just miss out. You just threw all of that mess in there, and people are going, hmm, it sounds like you're just shotgunning it, seeing what sticks. You're trying to swoop up as many 
folks to support you based on their little issue. So just in case I didn't cover it, your thing might not be animal eating, but it might be misogyny. So I'll throw that in. It might be racism. Let's just slap every ism on this stupidity right here. This is almost amazing. This should be like a case study in craziness, for real. They should be all sitting around behind a big glass with little white coats and stuff with clipboards and all right there. Now that was pretty crazy, don't you think? Yes, we've never seen a case this bad. Wow, yeah. And you know what's odd about this? The, sus the subject right there seems to take it very seriously. They actually believe it. That's pretty amazing right there. They should be studying this brain right here. Are all part of the neo-Nazi. <laughs> Oh my God, then she just said all part of the neo-Nazis <laughs> and you hear the crowd, they're probably thinking they're watching a comedy show. They're probably like, man, this is great. She's hilarious. And she uh, just, she even looks like she's serious. That's what's funny. How can she even keep a straight face? The delivery was awesome. So here she tries to slide in some darn, uh, the soy boy comment was funny though. Masculinity, Masculinity a construct, construct of the gender binary facing oh. constant destabilization feels always I under threat. Imagine. And eating animals is its protection racket. White supremacists weapon, weaponized it, eating meat, eggs, and dairy. Okay. She can't have a family. Can't have kids, man. Do you know how quick I would run in there and snatch my mom off that stage? That door would bust open. I'd be decked out in all black like the omen. Sprinting down that mug. Grab her and take her off through a back door somewhere. Throw her in an SUV and drag her home. Yeah, put a hood over her head, drag her to the crib, and then when she come in the crib, it'll be an intervention. Everybody in the family, we're glad you're home. We need to talk. We seen you on TV being crazy. So now, all of this is white supremacy, is racism, is misogyny, is the patriarchy. Does she not know that all of these black continents and countries and the, the the Latino countries. Try going down to South America telling them, don't you be eating no more chicken. It's racist. Try going to Africa. Lay off the pig, lay off the cows, lay off the chicken. How about this? Try going to a black household. You ain't even got to go. Far. You ain't even got to eat a country. Just go to a black household. Do, do, do. Excuse me. Yeah, what's up? Do I know you? No. However, I did notice you came in with some groceries and I saw some bologna in your bag with a little bit of chicken, collard greens, and fat packs. So I'm wondering, did you know that eating chicken is... Do you know how quick this lady would get thrown out that crib? Unbelievable that she's even fixing her lips to say this and it gets worse. And the baiting of liberal men as so-called soy boys yeah. are all part of the neo-Nazi <laughs> neo Nazi. Everything you can think of. They're neo-Nazis. Now, what all we done covered so far? We got neo-Nazis, we got misogyny, imperialism, racism, sexism, Whew. crazy town. To say you care about animals is considered a sign of weakness in a world still committed to the gender binary. Oh, see, now she's throwing in the gender binary and the transgenders and all of that stuff. And uh, just because we kind of chuckle about soy boys, because, you know, you don't get that proper protein Maybe you might want to just wake up one day and put a man bun in. We don't know. We don't know. Just keep messing around without getting enough protein. You might wake up one day and be tempted to put on some camel toes, open toe slippers. You never know. You might wake up one day feeling a little uh, like a male feminist or something. You know, you never know. So maybe these dudes need to start eating more turkey. Maybe they need to go heavy on the beef, the steak, or something, man. Get that testosterone level built up. Can't have you walking around with purple hair now, can we? Here we go. Meat eaters like anti-abortionists have forgotten that one quality of non-existence is not having awareness about existence. How in the world can you... How This is like a funny skit of how many social justice topics you can squeeze into one speech anti-abortion <laughs> this woman is like let me put every single thing i've ever heard somebody say this is offensive and slap it right into this one speech speech supposed to be dealing with eating animals somehow we're on now abortion unbelievable man 
When all else fails, meat eaters assert that animals are not our equals. What? I heard all your laughter. I know just... some of these must be new ideas, or you think they're fringe or whatever. No, no, you heard the laughter because people think you're crazy. Out of your mind, man. Here she, I heard the laughter. Some people think animals are not our equals. Are they? As much as I love this little, you know what, down here, I understand. At the end of the day. Now, I almost couldn't love another. I, I, I probably, it would be tough between him and another human, honestly. There's some humans I'd be like, ooh, I don't know. I don't know. Do I know you? If a burning building was going on, I'd have some questions before I made that choice. I really would. I would go through everything in my head like, okay, can I save them both? I mean, would I have time? to? But if it came down to it, I understand that he's a pet. I love him to death, but he's a pet. This woman right here is trying to say animals are equals. So let's fire her wherever she works and let a beetle teach her course. Because it'll be the same thing. You'll still be getting nothing. Let's go ahead and stick uh, some type of grasshopper up there on stage and let him give us a speech by making noise. Uh-huh, slide that horse in there. <laughs> yeah, this woman's crazy. Full blown, man. But she's somewhere educating people, I think. Our whiteness is part of the problem of meat eating. The assumption that the best protein comes from corpses is a racist belief. <sighs> Unbelievable. Our whiteness. Man, does it get more crazier than that? And I have heard some crazy stuff these last six years plus, but that one's up there. <laughs> she might have just broken to the top 10, man. That was pretty crazy. God bless y'all. Don't forget to hit that like button. Share my videos. Also, don't forget to donate if you like Kevin's Corner. There are links in the bottom of this video. Check out Extreme Tees, my sponsor. If you like the products, put Kevin in the promo code. You'll get a 20% discount. And um, what else? Oh, find me on Rumble in the Jungle. All right, God bless you all next time in Kevin's Corner. Take care.